Hello, my name is Alex and this video is the Compreface JavaScript SDK demo. As you can see, Compreface is a free and open source face recognition system by Exadel. In order to set it up, please follow the instruction step from the Getting Started section in the Compreface repository. Once you've completed the first four steps, including the installation of Docker and download of the archived file, go to the localhost with the 8000 port to get the API key. I have already registered, but in your case, you should click sign up first, enter your first and last names, email and password, and then you will be able to log in. Now you can see the main page of the system. Left part demonstrates the applications you've created, and the right part is related to users of those applications. Each of your application can use one of our three services. It can be either recognition, detection, or verification. In my case, I have already created a detection service called Demo Tutorial, and I'm going to use this API key. To get the example project, please go to the Compreface SDK section, click on this link to open the Compreface JavaScript SDK repository, and from here you can get the link and clone it. Here you can also find more information about how to use it, but in this specific video I'm going to cover how to use Compreface JavaScript SDK to create a simple webcam application. Now open your code editor and put the link in. In my case, I have already cloned it prior to this demo. After you clone the repository, open the directory, Compreface JavaScript SDK, and on the left here you can see the content of the directory. You should open the webcam demo directory to get the project, so once you've done that, type npm install command to install the required packages inside the webcam directory. After the installation is finished, open the app.js file and go to the line number 40 to put your API key, the one that we copied from the demo tutorial service. Put your API key over here and start the project with the npm start command. In a few moments your browser will open automatically. After the browser opens the project, click the start video button. So as you can see, the green square appeared around my face. The first value over here is to indicate that the detected object is actually the face, the second one is gender, and the third one is age range. And I believe that's all that I wanted to show you today. Make sure to follow our YouTube channel to be updated with our latest projects. Thank you.